This is the fourth video in the series on indices, thirds and logarithms and it contains an introduction to logarithms. Okay, in the uh, um, previous video on indices we know that three, uh, 2 to the power of 3 equals 8. Um, now these three numbers, 2, 3 and 8, have got names. Um, 3 is the index but it's got other names as well the power the exponent and also the logarithm uh, 2 is the base and we can write the expression 2 cubed equals 8 in another way. We can say that 3 is equal the, to the logarithm, which we would write as log, of 8 to base 2, which we write there. So 3 is uh, um, log of 8 to base 2, log 2, 8, that way. In general, then, if x equals a to the y, to the power of y, then we can write y, which is the index, as the, uh, as the logarithm of x to base a, where a is the base there. Now we saw in previous videos that if y is to take any value, such as uh, not just whole number values, but fractions, then a must be positive. So we must have a positive, and the value of any number to a power is also always a positive number. So a to the power of y is greater than naught, so x is greater than naught. So when we write y equals uh, log of x to base a, we have x greater than zero and a greater than zero y of course can be any value we could say y is in any real number so any expression like 2 to the power of 7 equals 128 can be written as um, log of 128 to base 2 equals 7 10 to the power of 5 is of course 100,000 and that can be written as 5 is the log of 100,000 to base 10. Alternatively if we have log of 100 to base 10 we can say that um, we know that 10 squared equals 100 and that's the indices the way of writing log to base 10 of 100. A few more, log of 64 to base 4, well what's that? Well we'll say 4 to what power equals 64 and it's 4 cubed is 64 and that's the same, means the same thing. Log to base 2 of 64, we'll change the base there. Well it's 2 to what power equals 64, what should we put in this, up in this position? 6, 2 to the power of 6 is 64, is the other way of writing that. Um, a couple of important results, we know that 2 to the power of 1 equals 2, so the logarithm form of that would be the logarithm of 2 and to the base of 2 is equal to 1. Well, there's nothing special about 2, so in general we would have log of any positive value, a to base a, equals 1, a greater than 0. Uh, also we might say that 2 to the power of 0 is 1, and the logarithm form of that would be the logarithm of 1 to base 2, is zero. And again there's nothing special about two. 
So the logarithm of a uh, to, of one to base a is equal to zero again for any positive a. And it's useful to remember these two results. Now, um, the logarithm of a thousand to base ten is three, of course, as ten cubed is a thousand. But what about the logarithm of, let's say, five to base ten? Uh, well, that must be the number that we put in here um, in the power of 10. So the 10 to the power of that number is equal to 5. In fact, it's the solution of 10 to the power of x equal 5. What is x? You could call this x. Well, x is an irrational number, and you can find an approximation by using the log button on the calculator. So you'd press log uh, button, and then 5, and then equals on the calculator. And you'll get... 0.6989704 an irrational number and that will continue on um, but now pause the video and try the following few problems well uh, expressing 3 to the power 4 equals 81 as a logarithm you would just write the logarithm of 80, 81 to base 3 equals 4. B, uh, 7 to the power 0 equals 1. Well, the logarithm of 1 to base 7 equals 0. C, same way again, the logarithm um, of 1 over 27 to base 3 is equal to minus 3. See the negative, you can only have negative on the right hand side. You can't have either of the th these values, the base or this value here, 1 over 27. That can't be, those can't be negative. And D, again, 32 to the power of 1 minus a fifth is a half. That would be log to base 32 of a half is minus a fifth. Now pause the video again uh, and try these few problems. So a log of 125 to the base 5 is 3. Well that is 5 is the base so it's 5 cubed is 125. b we've got 9 as the base so 9 to the power of a half is 3, the square root of 9 is 3 that means, and C here, uh, 2 to the power of minus 3 is an eighth, and D will have uh, 6 as the base to the power of 1 equals 6. Pause the video again and try the following problems. Um, so, A log to base uh, 7 of 49 so what do we have to uh, put in the power of 7 to get 49 7 to what equals 49 in other words well that's 2 so again here what do we have to put in the power of 5 to be 625 and that is 4 5 to the power of 4 is 125. The next one, C, uh, log of, of 1 15th to base 15. Well, we know that a 15th can be written as 15 to the minus 1. So the log of a 15th, 
to the base 15 is minus 1. Uh, log of 0 0.001 to the base 10, well, 0 0.001 is 10 to the power of minus 3. And so the log of 0 0.001 to, min um, to base 10 is minus 3. Uh, here, log of 2 to base of 16 is what do we have to put in the power of 16 to get 2? Well, it's 2 is the fourth root of 16, so to the answer to that one is a quarter. And finally, f, the log of 125 to base 25. Well, we need to find 25 to what power is 125? Well, we have to take the square root of 125 to get, uh, sorry, the square root of 25 to get 5, and then cube 25 uh, to get 125. So tw 25 square root, then cubed is 125. So it will be 25 to the 3 over 2 is 125. And so log of 125 to base 25 is 3 over 2. So now for the last time, pause the video and try the following problems. So the first one, A, uh, at log 25 to base 5 is x, or x is log 25 to base 5. We rewrite that as 5 to the x is 25. So x, of course, is 2. 5 squared is 25. B, well, if we rewrite this one, we have 2 to the power of 6 equals x. So x is 64. C, rewriting that one, x is the base this time, x cubed is 64. Uh, x cubed is 64, x is the cubed root of 64, so x is 4. Now D, uh, log of 16 to base x is 2 thirds, x is the base, so the power of 2 thirds is 16. Uh, so if we uh, take the square root of both sides here, we'll have x to the third is the square root of 16, which is 4. And if we cube both sides there, um, 4 cubed is 64, so x is 64. E, 2 log 7 to base x is 1. We'll divide by a half, we'll have log x base uh, 7 to base x is a half and writing that x is a base to the power of a half equals 7 so that's the cube root uh, sorry the square root of x is 7 so we square both sides x is 49 and lastly f will have uh, log 3 log x to base 8 plus 1 equals 0 so Subtracting 1 from both sides and divided by 3, log of x to base 8 is minus a third. So 8 to the power of minus a third equals x. So taking the... Um, so 8 to the power of minus a third, of course, is 1 over 8 to the third. And 8 to the power of a third is 2. So x is a half. That completes this uh, video on the introduction to logarithms. Now return to Study Spark and go to the next video on logarithms.